It's Monday, February 5th, and we are very sorry because we don't have any music at the time. But if this video gets to 100 likes, I will sing the next time. Welcome to Hot Dog Network. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Isaac, and this is Ricky, and you're watching the Daily Announcements. Congratulations to Mr. Bench and his Eagles. Rocking that old Eagles jacket has done the trick. They're world champions. Anyway, for lunch today, lines one and two will have buffalo and Asian bites, barbecue rib and pork sandwich. Line three will be closed, line four, soup and salad bar and stuffed crust pizza, and line five will be closed. A happy birthday today goes out to Paige Terry. Now to weather with Mo. It's currently a blazing one degree outside, and later the high will rise to 26 and drop to a low of 13. Expect sun in the morning with clouds overtaking the sky throughout the day. At least the winds are pretty chill. Back to those who came before. Willoughby's period four needs to report to the library. Celeste's period five needs to report to the library as well. Orchestra and band competed in solo and ensemble contest. Here are the award winners. The gold medals advance to, state, to the state contest. Um, ensemble, Lozana, group one violin solo. Katie Stitzworth, group one cello solo. Group one, large string ensemble. Abby Clenderson, Esmeralda Lopez, Calista Lucio, Jeanette Aguilera, Addison Perriman, Elizabeth Rota, Rebecca Sheets, Katie Stitzworth, and Sierra Tony. Other gold medals were awarded to Addison Perry, Crystal Gomez, Jeanette Aguilera, Batania Sanchez. Silver medals were awarded to Abby Sendern, excuse me, Sendernan. Jeanette and Jeanette Aguilera. For band, gold medals advancing to state contest, Nina Harshman, Casey Kletz, and Michelle Garza. Also receiving gold medals, Yahir Roman, Ivan Santos, Diego Santos, Gabby Reyes, Brianna Greeno, Caitlin Douglas, Natalia Ramos, Cassandra Lopez Carrillo, Victoria Moss, Caitlin Douglas, Maddie McBee, Michelle Garza, Gabby Reyes, and Maddie McBee. <laughs> Silver medalist, Caitlin Douglas, Natalia Ramos, Gabby Reyes, Carmina Arizmendi, Richard Turner, Jacob Bittner, and bronze medalist, Yahir Roman, and congratulations to everyone. This week, Deca cookies will be M&M chocolate chip sugar and limited chocolate chip brownie cookies. Stop by the DECA cart to purchase your cookies between passing periods. Students competing at DECA State final pay payments are due this Wednesday. DECA After Dark this week will be Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. And Tuesday hours will be 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Sign up in the chapter room for a personalized meeting. Track, track athletes that want to hurdle or long jump and who want to go to Purdue for track practice on Tuesday should come to Mr. Hammond's classroom to get information and sign up. The Andy Scholarship is now available for grades 7 through 11. The deadline to sign up is March 2nd. Also, the FEF General Scholarship is also open. The deadline to sign up is February 17th. For more information, go to frankforteducationfoundation.org. There will be a FAFSA completion night Tuesday, February 6th at, uh, from 4 to 7 p.m. This will take place here at the high school in room 150 on Tuesday. This evening is totally focused on getting FAFSA completed and submitted. Please bring any necessary tax documents and sit at a computer to receive step-by-step -step assistance. Big broadcast is coming up next week, February 8th and 9th. Mark your calendars for the greatest night of your life. Big broadcast tickets will go on sale on Monday in the bookstore. Shows are Thursday the 8th and Friday the 9th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for all ages. Don't miss out. First tech night for big broadcast is tonight. If you don't know what time to see, to go, see Mr. Taylor. He says if you miss tonight, you could be out for the show. Sad will be selling Valentine's animals February 5th through 9th during lunch outside of the cafe. The animals will be $2 a piece and will come with a card. 
Buyers will receive a small thank you candy at the time of purchase. On Saturday, February 17th, we will be honoring the first class of FHS alumni into the Halls of Fame. We would love for you to join us at 2 p.m. for the ceremony. And also, spread the word to family and friends and past FHS alumni. Now to, weather, uh, now to sports with Mo. Well, I'm back. Sports time. There are names this time, I promise. In girls' swim action, we had several who placed, who are shown here. 200 medley relay, Andy Giebel, Aubrey Teeter, Haley Campbell, Patience Dean, ninth. 50 freestyle, Patience Dean, seventh. Diving, Carly Bessler, 15th, Olivia Sheets, 16th. 100 freestyle, Patience Dean, ninth, Andy Giebel, 12th. 200 Freestyle Relay, Annie Giebel, Aubrey Teeter, Carly Bessler, and Patience Dean, 8th. 100 Backstroke, Annie Giebel, 12th. 100 Breaststroke, Aubrey Teeter, 14th. 400 Freestyle Relay, Kylie Adams-Long, Morgan Dean, Haley Campbell, and Carly Bessler, 9th. Great season, girls. Girls Basketball lost to West Lafayette, 41-43. Emily Michael had 20 points, Kimmy Kingma had 5 points and 17 rebounds, Nayeli Alanis had 8 points and 14 rebounds. The entire team wants to thank Beatrice, Beatrice Tovar for her hard work as our lone senior member. Adolfo Vasquez Sanchez, Zeke Van Deventer, and Jordan Ortiz all represented FHS and the wrestling team with pride Saturday. All three wrestlers were eliminated from the tournament during the first round. All three left it out on the mat. Congratulations. Congratulations on qualifying for regional. Brianna Gibbons bowled in the state finals this past Saturday and finished 10th. Not the finish she was hoping for, but still. 10th out of 2,500 is still pretty good. It's been a great year overall for the team and Brianna, and Brianna as well as Jordan Anderson for individuals. Official track practice starts a week from today. Preseason workouts continue this week. Anyone planning to run track this year that did not receive an email from Coach Lee, uh, let them know by email. Girls Tennis Call-Out Meeting will be this Friday, February 9th, after school. Coaches will meet you on the stairs just outside the athletic training room. Back to the studio after I stop getting tongue-tied. Thank you, Mo. A couple of final announcements. Tomorrow will be Twin Tuesday for the second day of Spirit Week, so don't forget for watching the daily announcements. And now, our friend Brandon here would like to show you his mismatch. 